What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel X-Man & Co. Today you guys are in for a treat. We're going to do beef short ribs, slow cooked. It's going to be amazing, it's going to be full of flavor, it's going to be so rich, you guys are going to love it. Stay tuned. Today is going to be our very first cook on our beautiful big green egg. Now guys, one of our subscribers, we are so thankful for this person, gave this to us as a present to the channel. He really liked our channel, he would like to stay anonymous. So boy oh boy, we just want to thank you so much. What a great present that is. So in honor of this beautiful present, this gift that we received today, we're going to do a low, slow cooked beef short rib for you guys, full of flavor. You're going to love it. Star of the show is this beautiful beef short rib. Now guys, sometimes you get five to six bones. Today we're using just four bones and that's going to be perfect. You guys will also see that we've got some ingredients here and we'd like to share that with you guys before we carry on with this cook. So we've got a beautiful red wine here. Guys, don't use expensive one. Cheap one will be perfect. We've got some olive oil, mushrooms, streaky bacon. If you guys got a thicker cut, that's going to work even better. We've got onions, tomato paste. We're going to use some mixed herbs here today. A beautiful house of garlic. We've got some parsley, flaky salt, pepper, and we've got a beautiful beef broth here, about 650 mils. Now with that said, you know what happens next, we have to start this cook. We're going to start with cutting your beef short ribs alongside the bone. And you guys will see there's some beautiful marbling in between, and it's just going to bring so much flavor to this dish. It's a very straightforward dish, thereafter we're going to move over to our fire. You're going to end up with four pieces like this. They might not be the same size, we're not worried about that. You'll also see as the beef short ribs goes from the one side to the other that it goes a little bit smaller, but guys, this is just going to bring so much flavor and it's going to explode and you're going to see exactly what we mean in a minute. Once we cut up our beautiful beef short ribs, it's time for our garlic. Now guys, the house, you just want to cut it straight down the middle. Try to keep it intact. And we're just going to put that to one side. Next, you want to spice your meat. We're going to keep it very straightforward and simple. So we're going to add some salt. We've got some flaky salt here today. Just want to make sure that it's nicely covered. Do all the sides. That's definitely going to help you to bring all those flavors. As always, we just grab all the pieces that's on the bottom. What we do to the one side, we're going to do to the other side. We're going to add some pepper. We're going to rest these short ribs for five minutes so the salt and pepper can really penetrate and remove a little bit of that moisture that we've got here. We're going to sort out the fire. We're going to see you just now. We're going to use a little bit of olive oil for this cook today. We're using a roasting dish today. We're just adding a little bit of olive oil. We're going to sear these beautiful pieces of meat Remember, if we don't sear it, at the end of the day, it's going to look like you boiled it in water and you really want that beautiful brown color and the crust on the fat cap. We're going fat side down. You want to sear it for about two minutes a side, just to make sure it's nice and brown. We had to move our bra because of the weather, so we're kind of under the roof now. Next, what you want to do is add some tomato paste. We're going to add about 50 grams. And you want to cook this out, so mix it there with the oil. Try and cook it, otherwise, guys, it's going to be very bitter. So you can move your meat around, mix it in there. Give it about two, three minutes. It's time to add our beautiful garlic that we have. You're going to see what we're going to do at the end. We're really going to incorporate it in such a beautiful way. This garlic is going to bring a sweetness to it. Remember, if you roast garlic like we do over here, it's going to bring that sweety, tangy taste. It's going to be absolutely divine. Next, you're going to add your red wine. You really don't have to use expensive red wine. A cheap one will do. And what you want to do right now is just to reduce the red wine. So we're going to cook it for about six, seven minutes. And you want to reduce it to about half of what you have in this bowl at the moment. So once your wine has reduced by 50%, 
then it's time to add our mixed herbs. We're going to add the mixed herbs in between where the wine is. And then the next step is to add our stock. Now the beef stock we're going to add, we don't want to fill the whole dish. You just want to bring it about 25 ml from the bottom. You want to bring your beef stock to boil. At this stage you want to remove your dish, get your grill ready for indirect cook. We're going to put some aluminium foil over this dish just to make sure at the bottom it braises and the top it steams. It's going to really lock in all those flavours. For this dish we need to get our temperature between 170-180 degrees Celsius. Remember guys, you can do this on the Weibo as well. It's just all about fire control. So we're going to get our green egg to the temperature and then we're going to put this dish onto the grill. We're going to leave this dish in the big green egg for about two and a half hours. Guys, if you're using a Weber, you're going to do exactly the same. Two and a half hours is going to be perfect. We're going to take another look at this dish, and I'm sure it's going to be perfect. So about five minutes before your actual cook is done, we need to sort out a beautiful sauce and some add-ons that we're going to throw over this beautiful beef ribs. We want to cut a few mushrooms up. You're going to cut them in half. It's going to be very straightforward. You don't want to go smaller because you really want that texture of those big, chunky mushrooms. Then we're going to move over to the onion. As always, we're going to remove the skin, if you do have a skin, around the onion, cut off the edges. Then we're going to slice them small rings very finely. Remember, we don't want the onion to overpower this dish, so we're going to stick with thin slices. Once you've done the onions, we're going to move over to your bacon. Now guys, for the bacon, we're using streaky bacon, or even use some pancetta if you have access to that. So you want to cut it just in small little streaks because we want this to be really crispy. This is going to be our crispy element to this dish. Next you want to take all these ingredients that we chopped up prepared for our side dish that we're going to enhance the beautiful flavors of this beef rib. You want to put it on a hot skillet with some oil. Now guys when you're adding your bacon it's entirely up to you how crispy you want it. We want it pretty crispy so we're going to let it simmer for as long as it takes until it's nice and crispy. Once your bacon is nice and crispy, we're going to add our onions. Now this is entirely up to you once again, your onions, how far you want to take it. Even if it's just a little bit translucent, that's perfect. It's all about the different textures in this dish. Once you're happy with your onions, we're going to add our mushrooms. Now guys, you want these mushrooms to really get nice and golden brown. Once you're happy with the brownness of the mushrooms, it's time to take it off. Put this aside and let's move on to the next step. We've got a little side addition here and that's going to be a beautiful loaf of bread that we're going to put on top of this dish in the big green egg. Now guys, the weather is quite crazy. The rain is pouring down. It's coming down with a lot of force. I hope you guys can hear me above that. Anyways, let's get the show on the road. What you want to do is add a little bit of oil to this beautiful loaf of bread. We're just going to brush it on top like we're doing over here. That's just going to help for all the flaky salt to stick to this bread. We're going to add some flaky salt on top. So that's going to be really, really beautiful. There's about 45 minutes left of this cook. So I think 45 minutes is perfect for this bread to crust nicely. We're just going to add another rack and then place this bread on top of the rack. So that moment, guys, two and a half hours in the big green egg. Let's take the bread off, slice it, and get the rest of this cook to perfection. Guys, this smells absolutely amazing. Look at that. Beautiful. Nice and brown, almost like a smoky effect to it. Let's set it up quickly. Guys, it's falling apart. It's absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Perfection. The next step, guys, we want to take these garlic houses, cloves, and mash it through that sieve. Just massage it, get all of those beautifulness through that sieve. Scrape it off in the end if you need to. And then we're going to move over to our sauce. The rest of the sauce in this pan is really full and rich full of flavor. So we're gonna throw that through the sieve and just combine all of that. You're gonna stir it slightly. We're gonna uplift this dish by just adding a little bit of sauce over all these short ribs before we move on to our toppings. Now it's time to introduce some beautiful sauces onto each of them. Don't be shy guys, it's all about 
uplifting this beautiful dish. There you go. Last but not least, it's time for our toppings. Be generous, grab some nice bacon, onions, and some beautiful mushrooms. Just place it on top, around, everywhere you think it's necessary because this is going to bring so much beautifulness and tastiness to this dish. At this point, we need some prettiness as well. So we're just going to add some parsley to that. Guys, don't tell me that's not perfection. Now all we need to do is taste it. Guys, look at that. Oh, beautiful. Let's get some of this bacon as well. A little bit of onion. Guys, have a look at that. That's so much goodness in there. Let's taste it. Wow. This is like butter. Wow. I don't know how to describe this, guys, but you, you know you have to try it out. It's like soft butter, just enough fat, juices, crispy bacon, all the rest of it. And that garlic is really coming through, not overpowering, and a little bit of sweetness. Guys, this is the go-to dish. I know I've said that before, but seriously, go try this out. If you like what you're doing, like, share, subscribe. Enable those notifications so you get notified as soon as we upload a new video. Thanks for watching. We cannot do this without you. We'll see you on the next one. It's amazing. Go try it out.